I am in the Culvert City, the old Culvert City area. My backyard has been transformed into a river, and this is mostly what's going to be happening around um, the tongue of Lethem. Um, the market area is um, being surrounded. It, it might um, come across the main roadway at certain parts if it keeps up at this pace. Um, in people, houses are being um, threatened in the Tabachinga housing scheme and um, in uh, what we call the bond success area which is close going to the border because that is close to the Takatu River and uh, so persons are on high alert at this time uh, because anything can happen so um, preparations to raise things higher uh, and perhaps evacuate um, from their homes might be something on the top of their list at this point in time. Thanks, Alison. And for people who may not understand the area, could you describe what the houses are like in, in the area? They're all low houses, flat houses. So there is no upstairs and downstairs. Some might be a little bit off the ground, but it's still not too high off the ground. So. Um, these houses are also um, in, in the vicinity of creeks, right? For example, my place, there's a creek very, very far <laughs> from me. I never thought that water would reach still here, but this is how the terrain is. Uh, once the, um, the Takatu backs up, this is what we can expect. Right. And what measures are you taking for your own? The part of my backyard is actually like, I have a very big backyard, and I consider that like a bit of wasteland. I've put a, a revetment wall at a certain part that is, is, is far from my home. It's, it doesn't usually always get close to my home, but um, worst case scenario, it's surrounding my home. And uh, once it's actually in the big flood in 2011, it actually did come into my home. But I have ha made a dam. And now I put this revetment wall, which will now be put to the test. <laughs> um, <laughs> is, that a, is, is, is that what a lot of people are doing, trying to keep water out of their houses, doing little? Oh, unfo unfortunately, um, not a lot of persons can do that. And um, some of the houses are now being built a little higher to cater for these kinds of things. But you know how it goes. You know, I burn and grow here. I am moving and going nowhere. Persons um, are put into shelters. We do have a, uh, a disaster, a shelter here, a CDC center, and then we also u utilize some of the schools as shelters when it gets to worst case scenario. And is there anything else that the authorities are doing to help you? Well, um, yes, in a sense, well, they, they try to assist by evacuation, and they try to assist with food supplies and things like that if it becomes so a point where you have to be evacuated. And, um, you know, that, that's the only thing they can do at this point in time.